of, or maybe the first part of next. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm sure they'll see what, how they, how, I know that both of those shows have streamed well and in the past, you know, at least under prior administrations, they got early renewals. So we'll see what happens, happens there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just like, a lot of crazy things going on, and we hadn't even gotten into Ezra Miller yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we can get on that topic right now. Um, yeah. So the latest Miller update is he was charged with felony for a burglary in Vermont, um, but still managed to do reshoots on The Flash this summer. And Warner is now considering three different options on what to do with the film, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Um, one of those options is just to, like, burn it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the third option, just burn it. This, this swallow $200 million. <laughs> I, you know, I just feel bad for, like, the actress who was going to play Supergirl, mm -hmm. um, and, and a, a lot of the, like, even Keaton, but, I mean... Keaton, you, you've got enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've done a lot. You've done, good, but um, just just those other up and comers who this was quote unquote their big break, and yeah. then to have the the lead star have all of these scandals, and now you don't even know if your big break is going to actually happen. Right. That's that's heartbreaking. There's yeah. a or, well, no, there's a lot of victims in this whole there's thing. There's a lot. Cast, crew, yeah. And and uh, I guess the other two options, the first option that uh, was reported was that uh, one, uh, his mom has been keep basically babysitting her 29-year-old uh, son who... And uh, he's supposed to be seeking professional help uh, after returning home to their farm in Vermont. Uh, so if if you know, and, it, and then if, if hopefully if he does get that help, he'll do the you know the Will Smith video that explains why he did what he did, and then you know, and then people will either accept that or or, or not, and you know we can't control that, but. Uh, and the movie will then open. The uh, second scenario is if he doesn't reach out for help, then Warner could still release the film, but don't expect him to um, be a part of any kind of marketing or publicity. And actually, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't realize this, but I guess there was a movie I was just that apparently just released this week with him in it. I can't remember the title of it right now, but that's that's the route they went, where he is just like where they are not. Um, Ezra is not in any of the publicity or whatever, but he plays a young version of oh the Salvador Dali film. Um, he yeah, so they play a, a young version of Dali, and they just did. And the studio that released that film just just doesn't have him mentioned mentioned at all that he's playing this character. So hmm. yeah, Interesting. so here here's the question though: if yeah. they do release it. Whether he gets help, whether he doesn't get help, um, do you go and see it? I will. I'm not going. I'm not going to sit here and like say I'm not. I'm just yeah. going to be honest. I'm. I'm going to. I'm going to go watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, heck. I would probably end up going to see it too. I mean, if I were going <laughs> to like, yeah. if you didn't, I would probably skip it. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at all the stuff Robert Downey Jr. did when he was young back in the 90s. And he's like, he's led a franchise for like over a decade. So, I mean, pe yes, people, you know, I guess this is where you have to separate I, art I from think, the artist. Right. And, and I, and I, it's a, it's a fair point. Yeah. I just, for me personally, whether he gets help or not, I think it's complete bullshit because for someone to go from one extreme to the other, mm -hmm. I mean, it that didn't happen for Robert Downey Jr. overnight. That was years. And yeah. there was a certain person, not a therapist, who he encountered who really like changed that whole perspective for him. And yeah. And I know he did some screwed up stuff, but Ezra Miller has taken it to a whole new level. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. But other rehab, other rehabilitation projects. I think about uh, Rob Lowe. Um, he did some stuff. Yeah. When he was young, and 
and has was able to rebound from that and have a very successful career. So I mean, it's oh, I don't, I I'm not saying I don't, I'm not saying it's impossible for him not to have like a successful career. I'm just saying that's a quick turnaround. Yeah, true. Um, to go from like America's Most Wanted. (laughs) Yeah, true. (laughs) To suddenly, hey, come see my film. I've completely changed. Yeah, I guess a lot. Hap- I guess a lot will happen. I mean, obviously the burglary charges because he just stole some liquor, some alcohol from a, a neighbor's house. I, I think a lot will. I guess it depends on like the assault charges that I think are still pending in Hawaii. You know, I guess it depends on how some of those things, right, like, sort of shake out. And then I know there's apparently it was, a, I guess, the Child Protective Services is looking uh, into a situation with Ezra and. Uh, a mother and, and her children in, in Vermont about whether or not there was some grooming or some other things going on. So, I mean, there's a lot that a lot could could happen here over the next little way and determine whether or not they you know they go to option three. So, Burn it, like, burn it. Kill, 